This is a preview of uh, SimC Drive setup using DPeak or um, SimC 1.5 firmware. So we've opened our SimC here and we're going to navigate over to our uh, physical drive info and look at the drives that this particular server has in it. And as we scroll down through here, we see that this is a um, C240 with 24 drives installed. So it's a really full system. We see that the health of all of these is good and the status is unconfigured. We'll take a look and see that there are no virtual drives. So we'll go over to our controller info and we're going to create a virtual drive. We're going to select uh, RAID level 1 here. Select two drives for our drive group. Select our drive group here. And then we're going to give this virtual drive a name that means something to us. So we're going to call this OS RAID 1. And then we're going to create our virtual drive. So we'll take a look at our physical drives here. We now see drives 1 and 2 are online. And we're going to make drive 3 a dedicated hot spare for this virtual drive group. So we'll go ahead and configure that. And now we're going to create another set of virtual drives. And this time we're going to create a RAID 5.0. So take a few RAID 5s and add them together as a RAID 0. So we're going to create a drive group with three drives. Then we're going to create another drive group with three drives. Those will be a couple of RAID 5s. And we're going to go ahead and make this one interesting and add a third group here with three drives in it. And add it over here. Then we're going to take these three drive groups, add them together, and create our array. And basically the system is automatically creating a size for us. We'll give this one a name as well. We'll call this uh, the Data RAID 5. And we see that it's automatically sized that we could go and configure this. We'll just take the automatic size, create the virtual drive. Now we'll go back and take a look at the virtual drive and we see that we have our data rate five. It's a virtual drive number one here. So we're going to take in, go in here and create a couple of global uh, hot spares. These can be used for any RAID group. So we'll take drive 13 and uh, drive 14 here make both of these global hot spheres. Then we'll go back up here and we see that both those drives are global hot spares. We're going to go into our virtual drive here. And now we're going to um, initialize both of these drives. So we'll do an initialize on drive zero, virtual drive zero. And then we'll initialize um, drive one. We see all the different drives that are in this group. We initialize that. And now that we've initialized them, we want to see that the server actually sees these drives. So we're going to go over and launch our KVM to our console. And we're going to boot the server up here and we should see the drive. So we'll power cycle the server, get a cold boot. And I'll take a minute here to come back up. So now it's going to boot through, and it's going to do the memory test, and it's going to cycle through and uh, configure all the hardware. Now we'll get to a point where we start booting here. And as the system boots up, it should go through and show all of our option ROMs. So here we see our Mega Ray controller and all the drives. And we see a virtual drive RAID 1 here, and then we see a virtual drive RAID 5.0. It says there are two virtual drives in the system. So everything is now set up the way we expected it to be.